<laughs> crazy, right? But, it goes but to your point, man. yeah, of course. But like, to to get to the where he is, with not even having an understanding of how to use the equipment. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is the ninth. Is that right? July 9th? Yes, it is. It's Matt's birthday. Happy birthday, Matt. Um, uh, I hope you guys have been liking the, the more consistent vlogs coming out. It's been helpful to have a few more people around to, to get these done. Um, we've got a busy day ahead of us, as usual. We've got Tyler Merritt coming in today. They're going to do a Tactical Baby Gear podcast. Tyler is the founder and CEO of Nylon Apparel, uh, which you always see me in their shirts. This hat that you see me in, like every single video, every photo ever, Nylon Apparel. Uh, great company, great organization, doing cool things. So you guys will have to hear more about that on the Tactical Baby Gear podcast, and I'll put a, I'll put a link up here, you can get to that. And then um, got a few meetings this afternoon, and then I wanna talk to you guys about some of the other changes that I'm making uh, and what that means for this channel. Let's get into the day. we have with me none other than the one and only Tyler Merritt. Tyler is the co-founder and CEO of Nine Line Apparel. Nine Line kind of started on accident. Is, yeah. that, is it right? Yeah. I think a lot of businesses and, and entrepreneurs, they just fall into it, mm -hmm. uh, especially people who have that same spirit of just trying to innovate. Uh, so while I was on active duty, I like to tinker around with things on the internet and I like to build websites. Uh, we were deploying more than any special ops unit to date. Uh, and it was like that badge of honor. Oh, I'm never home. So you have a group of guys, small subset of a small subset that are constantly gone. And so we have these morale shirts to try to boost the morale. So we'll be deployed to different units, organizations. For example, I uh, deployed to it overseas in the Arabian Peninsula with guys from SEAL Team 7 and we would create these shirts to show esprit de corps you know the the relationship between us and their unit and maybe the mission set we're on or uh, just a, a unit morale just for our unit right that's something that I can wear now and remember and reflect back and for me coming from flying uh, Apaches and I was the the you know commander there to a, uh, the night stalkers you start all over so go from that to being the guy who cleans out the refrigerator or the guy who makes the t-shirt order and that's the one that I picked up as an additional duty as of one of 10 million that we had. Mm -hmm. um, but it was like the grunt work, go sweep the yeah. floors. <clears throat> and it was go, a pain in the butt. Go find us some shirts. Yeah, so yeah. I had to go collect information from individuals, collect funds, then go find someone to print it. Then I got these itchy, nasty, gilded shirts that had one color on it and they were charging me you know, a ridiculous amount of money. <clears throat> and then I had to deal with the wrong sizes and, you know, back and forth. So I was like, hey, you know what? I like building platforms. So I just built a website and I made it secure and I passed it out to friends and family and it was much easier to manage. So we started doing that for other units. Uh, and then I didn't like the brands that we were using. So I, I wanted something that resonated with our community. And we've worked our butt off and I'm, I'm proud of what we've accomplished. It's incredible. It's definitely inspiring for a lot of people I know. Mm -hmm. um, it's humbling for me. Uh, but like, at what point is enough enough? Uh, I don't know that even for myself. Like, should, everyone you asks. find that. Out. Well, everybody says, like, well, what do you, what's your, like, I don't, I honestly don't have a goal. You know, until recently have I really figured out, like, I just love to work. And I love what we're doing. And I'm super passionate about it. And I just love to work. And that's always like, well, when is enough enough? Like, we're in a good place. We're financially, we're, we're good. You know, like, I'm not worried about that. So it's like, well, it's not really the money. So... Like, of course, everybody wants to work and make more money, but like, it's not really that what it is for me. I just enjoy it. And now what I'm realizing is like, I just want to kind of my big goal for all of it is just to make an impact for my family, for future generations or whatever the case is, or, oh, great grandfather Beave did X or whatever, and just inspire and encourage other people kind of along the way. So, you know, it's funny because I don't like, for, there is not really a finish line for me. I don't know where that is. Yeah, to your point, this stuff's fun. If you're waking up every day like, man, I can't wait to get through this day so I can get to something down the road, you should probably look at that. Dude, 
Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's Matt's birthday today. How old are you now? 36. You're so, dude, you're older than dirt. 46? Yeah. <laughs> when did you turn 56? All of the above. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite things someone told me one time, this piece broke, was like, when your daughter asked for money, like, Daddy, Daddy, can I borrow $50? Like, $30? What the hell do you need $20 for? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. You have to. I gotta get one of these bad boys. Yeah. Okay, so I told you guys I want to talk about some changes and things of that nature, and you may have already noticed the changes uh, recently. Uh, changing the format of the vlog back to like a document uh, style vlog versus me trying to come up with an idea of something I think you want to hear about or something I think is beneficial to you. I just don't have time for that. But uh, so I've been documenting it. But also because, you know, we've been documenting some stuff for my wife, uh, for her dad, you know, uh, and just like telling some old stories from him and stuff like that. So we've been have, have we've had him on here, sitting here recording his stories on audio, but also getting the video from it. Um, and then future generations will be able to see that and know their grandfather and their great grandfather uh, because once he's gone, he's gone, you know? So if a lot of that stuff isn't documented, you kind of lose that kind of vibe of like who grandpa was or whatever. So, and I don't have anything like that for my grandfathers and I wish I did because they built big things, they did great things in the world. They, you know, were just super cool, crazy, interesting characters. And I've heard a lot of stories about them, but I've never heard from them. I don't know, like, what he was like as a person, uh, the, like, his character, you know? Like, I wish, I wish I had videos of my grandfathers doing what they did. It would just be so, so cool. So that's kind of a mind shift change that I've been making recently. I'm sure you guys have picked up on, like, I've got these guys, thankfully now it's like a lot easier that you got these guys to help me um, kind of document and follow me around and stuff. But I think it's important for everybody to do that on some level, even if you just keep it for yourself, like home video style. Um, I think I just have some information that's not only going to be beneficial to my future kids and great grandkids. Hey, I hope you guys are watching and enjoying this right now. But also stuff that I think will help everyone watching currently uh better themselves and I hope that it encourages and inspires you guys to get out there and create something and do something better and document your journey and uh, that's it. I'm going to head to the gym because that's another change I've made in my life. I'm starting to go to the gym, get my dad bod in check. Uh, guys, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.